ups and downs. The relentless evil had reached the not-quite-so-free cities in order to defeat another one of Thanos' comrades. But the defenses needed to be weakened first. The city's water supply was very close. Together with the muscular ogre, the pillaging evil had destroyed the city of Lots of Winter. And so the former harbor city was consumed by the flames. All that remained was a smoking pile of misery. The third part of the Lots of Winter series should probably be named Ash Beach of Death then. <laughs> At the victory celebration, the ogre insisted on giving a little concert with his solo band. Unfortunately, no one was able to face the odors that followed his butt trumpet solos, and even Talia escaped with the smell-sensitive evil's army as the poor soul-serving ogre collapsed, wheezing on the ground. And so the resource-wasting evil had once again captured a ship to again sail off to some other place. This story is so, um, exciting and varied. And so the Carefree Evil's army sailed for the not-quite-so-free cities, a network of unacceptably prosperous towns spanning the islands in front of the mainland. It went without saying there was no way they could be ignored on the way to the capital city. But even more important was the fact that Elric the Pretty was there. A good-natured, narcissistic paladin who served the goddess, and far, far worse, one of Thanos' comrades in arms. Certainly, Talia wouldn't pass up a chance to get one over on her foster father by shearing one of his little lambs and roasting it over a slow fire. <sighs> Where did I put great-grandfather's paladin it's so wonderfully juicy recipe book? The relentless evil's armies had reached the not-quite-so-free cities. Several large cities were spread across numerous smaller islands. The capital of Alphas was very close. This was probably where Elric the Pretty was to be found. Unfortunately, the not-quite-so-free cities were very well defended. A direct attack would be unwise. But the insidious evil had already formed a plan designed to weaken the defenses. There were a number of fresh water supplies located very close to the landing site. If someone were to add something to them, the effects could be very interesting. <laughs> ah, that's why I have this vial of zombie virus with me. Excellent! Poison water, create undead. Got it. Onwards, creatures, smash them, break their necks, introduce motions of censure against them. Unfortunately, the waters were extremely tricky in this area and could rise and fall within a very short time. But sadly, the hydrophobic evil's creatures had never taken a swimming course. <laughs> Idiots. Morons. No loss there. You could look at it that way, but the fatigued evil was getting tired of always replenishing its armies. It had therefore prudently already built a crypt in order to be able to revive horde creatures. Hmm, sure, for all I care. I'm getting the itch, and that means I have to destroy something soon. <laughs> to do. Hmm, what is that weird thing? 
something in the dungeon. Looks like some kind of portal, but it seems to be inactive. Then we can ignore it for now. Ah, yes. The simplicity of the maliciously minded. But anyway, the portal thingy, or whatchamacallit, seemed to be extremely solidly built and indestructible anyway. It therefore actually did make sense to ignore it for now. dungeon started to light up. Something was happening. Heroes on the surface had obviously activated it and used it as a direct access to the dungeon, bypassing the arduous route through the overworld. What? Heroes are using a portal into the dungeon. Crush them! Scratch their eyes out! Feed them cat food! Thanos must die! Heroes are wrecking your rooms. Even though I personally find it difficult to distinguish between that rotten, undead smell and the smell of fish, the local heroes' noses were much better trained. They soon set out to get to the bottom of things, which is to say, the underground. I mean, the dungeon. Sure showed him!
desire. Kill. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Dungeon Heart is being attacked.
rumor coursed through the ranks of the rumor-mongering Eagle's army that there was a time-worn ritual site somewhere in the area where an ancient evil creature could be summoned. The immediately taking notes evil was extremely interesting. And how? Deadly new creatures are always good. <laughs> Thanos will be amazed when I face him. Kill. There are enemies in your dungeon.
Everything good must die. Tanya had reached the first water supply and began a mystical ritual to contaminate it. If by mystical ritual you mean that I simply slowly dribble this stuff into the water, then you are absolutely correct. But the local heroes were not quite as stupid as those elsewhere and suspected that something was wrong. A group immediately set out to protect the water. Damn environmentalists, what a bunch of pains in the neck. Go stop them! Rip out their fingernails, smear them with rancid bacon fat. to provide some gastric distress or for some walking dead. <laughs> First water supply had been contaminated. Two others were still waiting for a visit from Talia. There are enemies in your dungeon. There are enemies in your dungeon. Heroes are wrecking your rooms.
Enemies have entered the dungeon. Time to take out the trash. Destroy them all! I do for you. Payday. They'll never know what hit them. I mean, literally, I hope that stuff either makes them blind and deaf or turns them into zombies. <laughs> I don't care. Chaos and destruction. <laughs> A nearby colony of shrimps was somewhat disturbed by the presence of the unrighteous evil's army. Or they might have just been hungry, whatever. Anyways, they set out to remedy the problem. Go out there and kill those things. It's lobster and shrimp soup tonight.
It's not like it's an exact science. On to number three.
I will destroy this land. Command me! Some shrimps seemed anything but enthusiastic about somebody hanging around their home and set out to do something about it. Wonderful. The last water supply had been contaminated. Excellent work. Now that all the water supplies had been contaminated, the satisfied Evil's army could move into the interior, towards the capital of the not-quite-so-free cities, Alphas. Huh? That was it for here? Didn't bring us anything at all, did it? I don't see any effects. Wait for it. Pipes and pumps carried the water into the not-quite-so-free cities. That's where the effects would be felt. Oh, excellent. <laughs> so what are we waiting for? I have to talk to Elric. I'm a little disgruntled that we haven't run into that idiot yet. Still not heard anything from your good side? Th the nothing. But she's about as useful as bunions anyway, right? Let's just hope she stays wherever she is. Thank <laughs> you. 